Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you're all doing well today. I wanted to share with you something that I've been thinking about doing uh, for a little while and I finally had some time to do it. So um, I'm going to show you and, and hopefully this is something that will help you. I don't know if anyone else has come up with this idea before, I haven't checked. Um, but anyway, Sometimes when I'm doing art uh, backgrounds or art journaling or even on my jelly plate, I have trouble seeing which colors go together well. And, um, you know, you, you or you send, tend to use the same colors over and over again. So I thought I would try to break that rut a little bit by doing some color palettes. This isn't swatching. This isn't where I'm just taking my watercolors and, and you know, putting what the, the colors are on paper so that I know what my colors look like. This is making color combinations so that later on, whether it's watercolor, I'm, I used watercolor on these, but I can do the same color uh, waves in acrylic if I want to um, and just mix the colors. But um, it's just a kind of a guide to help me to come out and make some color palettes that are different, some art that's different from what I'm usually doing. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, <coughs> so what I did to come up with these was I actually went through some magazines. And this was a, a one magazine that I went through. And all I did was I went through the magazine and I looked at things that the colors in the magazine page pleased my eye. And everyone might be different, what pleases them, what doesn't please them, and that's totally fine. But I, I looked at things that maybe I, you know, I thought the color colors were really good, but that's not something I would necessarily use myself. So this page right here, I'm looking at this picture right here. And so I came up with this color, these colors right here, because these colors came from this picture here. So I took the colors and I made them here. Now, anything that I did, um, this is a real simple magazine. Anything that I did, um, I could always add black and white to uh, if black's not one of the colors. And this is actually a, a dark blue or almost painted gray. It's not black. Um, so I had that. Then I saw this. And now these pages, because I love the pictures also, I can still cut this out. I can still use this in other art. I've just already got the, the already made the color, uh, I don't know, the color combination from it. So this one is like different shades of blue and there's yellow in the, in the level water. And then there's like silver. So that's this one with the blues, the yellow, and I don't know if you can tell, but that is silver. That's my my uh, silver watercolor. So I did that one. Then this one here, I took the colors. I love these colors from around the border. And that's this one right here. So see what I did? I just took pages that I like the color combinations in the back. This one here is this right here. And I just made, sorry about that, I have a lamp that's acting up next to me here. This one here is this one right here. And this cute little home here. Now this is watercolor paper that I'm using, but I think it's really cheap watercolor. I don't even know where I got this. It, it looks like it was a journal at one time that I, I might have taken apart. So this one here with this house is this one here. I just took the colors from there and put them there. And then this one here, it's like yellow, red, gray, yellow, red, oh, black, uh, black, gray, and then white. Um, the, the lettering is white. So what I did was I actually don't have white watercolor paint, so I used, at least not with me, I used the Posca paint pen and just did the white and then I just outlined it in black so I could see that that is actually a, a color right there. So you can, you can use as many colors as you want on your little color combinations, but I tried to keep it to about five, four or five. Um, knowing, you know, you could add black, you can add white, you know, whatever, uh, or, or shades of those colors in between. So what I thought I'd do was just show you real quick what I did. So here's a picture here, and it's uh, got greens and orange 
and yellow. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so it's got like a very dark green and it's a yellow green. So I'm taking this dark green here and I'm just gonna make a little swatch. Now, because it's watercolor, sometimes it's not going to be dark enough. So I just go ahead and wipe my brush off, try to get some of the water off and make it a little darker. And I can come back and make that even darker again. But let me wash this off. So then we've got like a bright green. So that is, well actually we've got two more greens. So we've got like a, this color green. It's just all about the greens on this one. And then, you know, now with my, if I do this with acrylics, if I use these colors with acrylics, it's going to be different. You know, the, the color might be totally different. Although with acrylics, you can mix uh, colors pretty well. And then we have this orange, which is the actual oranges. So I'm going to get my orange here. Okay. And then it's like a yellow uh, yellow, that's the pith part of that orange. So I'm going to use this yellow here because I know it's a nice bright yellow like that. Okay. And so see this one right here, this dark green isn't quite dark enough. So I can just blot the water off of it, dry my brush a little bit and get that dark green on there again. There we go. And go over it again. And I did that with some of the other ones that I showed you. That lamp has got a mind of its own. It's going on and off. Okay, like that. So there. So now I have another one which was inspired by this. Okay. So this is just a little fun little idea to do. Look, look at some magazines, books, whatever. And like I said, I still have all these pages. If I want to reuse those images for a glue book or something, I have it. But I've captured um, another color combination so that like when I do my jelly plate printing, which I would do with acrylics, but I could just look at these and say, okay, well, these colors look really cool together, so I know I can make a jelly print and not, not end up with some horrendous colors that I don't like. So I thought that that was just a fun little tip to show you, um, and I hope you give it a try so that you can see that there's a whole bunch of combinations out there that we may not be thinking about using. So guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.